Gravity is that attractive force that keeps us all stuck to the earth. In the absence of gravity, everything on earth will just fly away and float into space. It was Sir Isaac Newton, the famous English scientist, who figured out how gravity works. There's this famous story that says that he was sitting under an apple tree one day and wondering about gravity and all of a sudden an apple fell on his head and then he got all the ideas that led to his theories. Now let me stop you and ask you a tricky question. In which direction does gravity act? Immediately you'll say of course it, it acts downward. But what does downward mean exactly? Downward means toward the ground, right? And upward means in the opposite direction. But think about it, is that actually true? Zoom out a little. Now you know that the Earth is in the shape of a sphere. Now imagine I run a little and go to the other side, like so. Now, what is downward? This direction, but this time, this direction is exactly the opposite of the previous case, right? And similarly, upward is in this direction, which was the previous upward direction, right? Let me run a little further. Now, downward is in this direction, which is sideward for the first case. It's weird, right? So what is down exactly then? Okay, okay. So I, this might be a little confusing. <laughs> Let me explain. What I did was basically I was drawing arrows toward the center of the earth. So irrespective of where you are on the earth, if you draw an arrow toward the center of the earth, that represents downward. Okay? So what does this say about gravity? We know gravity always pulls in the downward direction, which means gravity must always pull toward the center of the earth. And that's right, gravity does always pull only toward the center of the earth. Now gravity is also a universal force. What that means is every object in the universe attracts every other object gravitationally. Let me explain. This means that if you take a stone on earth, it actually attracts any other random stone on earth. Or let's say there's a car standing outside. That car is actually gravitationally attracting a tree that's standing next to it. Or even if you take a classroom setting, if you're sitting in a classroom, you are actually attracting a pen or a pencil that's next to you. Now you obviously don't see any movement or feel this attraction because the force or the magnitude of the force is very small. You can only see or feel the force when the object involved is very large. For example, the Earth. So the Earth's gravitational pull is so evident because the Earth is so huge. Now gravity is also the force that governs the movement of all the large astronomical objects. Objects like the Sun, our Earth, all the other planets, solar systems, the galaxies, etc. If you like this video and want to watch many, many more amazing videos like these, like and subscribe to our channel now.